Thanks for staying here on Joy News Desk. Mrs. Mary Chinui Hesse is now the Chancellor of the University of Ghana. She replaces former UN boss Kofi Annan. She was sworn in yesterday at the University of Ghana Great Hall. Until her role, she served as the Vice Chairman of the National Development Planning Commission. The distinguished national and international public servant is one of the first female alumni of the University of Ghana to be awarded honorary degree of the university. She became the first female deputy director general of the International Labour Organization from 1989 to 2000. She has received several prestigious awards, including the Order of the Star of Ghana in 2006 and the Gusi Peace Prize for International Diplomacy and Humanitarianism in 2010. She is currently the chairperson of the Goodwill Ambassadors of the Kofi Annan International Peacekeeping Training Center after several years as Under Secretary General of the United Nations. President Ekufuado wants the university to continue being a trailblazer in academic excellence on the continent. I assure you of government's steadfast commitment and continued support to the University of Ghana and indeed to all other universities in the country. It is my expectation and hope that Legon will continue to produce graduates who are molded to take on the opportunities and possibilities for higher achievement through innovation and creativity in today's science and technology-led, knowledge-driven global economy, and who will thereby help generate prosperity for the mass of our people in our time. Mrs. Mary Chinri Hersey, who served as special advisor to former President Kufo, says universities must reform their training modules to meet the needs of industry. African nations must need to prepare the institutions of higher earning, earning, learning to provide the knowledge required for the essential and desired knowledge economies which will drive our development agenda. Fortuitously, the University of Ghana has already taken several important steps to tackle some of the growing challenges. We have a strategic plan for the period 2014 to 2024, aimed at just that. And uh, this, this will make the university shine even brighter. She succeeds former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan. Away from that, the Electoral Commission now has a new chairperson, Mrs. Jean Mensa, who and her three deputies were sworn in yesterday by President Ekufuado. Our only interest is to have an Electoral Commission that organizes credible, transparent, elections. We do not want electoral victories handed to us by officials of the Electoral Commission. We want electoral victories handed to us by the people of Ghana. You, Madam Chair, and your two deputies have come to office at a time when there's considerable anxiety in the nation about the work of the Commission. It is the quality of your work that can reassure the Ghanaian people that the democratic system of government that they have chosen for their governance will be properly nurtured by an electoral system that allows their voice to be plainly and loudly heard. It is no secret that I have spent much of my adult life fighting for the establishment of democracy and human rights advocated for a credible electoral process in Ghana. I, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, do in the name of the Almighty God swear, that I will at all times, that I will at all times, well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana, well and truly serve the Republic of Ghana, in the office of, 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 in
You're watching John News Desk. We'll take a quick breather now for business news.